involvement in the Graham lawsuit. I think that now that we're back in our um, public session, that if there's a, a motion um, that we're ready to entertain, I would do so at this time. Madam Chair, Mr. Edwards. Governor Edwards. Since I was uh, originally appointed to the Board of Governors, I think my biggest concern has been resolving the, the issuance of governance. And I think it's, it's become clear to me in the last uh, several months that Board of Governors has been able to reach an amicable agreement with the House and the Senate relative to cooperative and collaborative governance of the state universities by the Board of Governors and the legislature. I think it's an agreement that uh, hopefully will be fair to vote. Specifically regarding the authority of the Board of Governors for delegating the powers and duties of the University Boards of Trustees, the authority of the Board of Governors to promulgate regulations through its own processes, the authority of the Board of Governors to govern and regulate the University Information Technology, and the authority of the Board of Governors to consider and act on uh, our university's request for differential tuition and to establish a new fee or, or fees, uh, increasing an existing fee beyond its current cap based on the criteria developed by the legislature. Uh, also, uh, I think it's important that our general counsel and our, our new chancellor have also recommended that we uh, settle this amicably. Therefore, I move that we file a voluntary notice of dismissal of our claims in the Graham suit with prejudice, contingent upon receipt of a fully executed governance agreement, and I authorize, and that we authorize our chair to execute the agreement on behalf of the board and to continue to work with the legislative leadership during this session on the statutory modifications that are going to be necessary to clarify the appropriate roles and responsibilities of the board and the legislature. Madam Chair, uh -huh. Norman Tripp, I second the motion. So thank you, Governor Edwards, for your motion, and thank you, uh, Governor Tripp, for your second of the motion. Is there any discussion of the motion that's before the board? And. I apologize for the fire truck that's outside my office window. <laughs> um, there being no discussion, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. And those who oppose by the same sign. That being said, it appears that the motion um, passes unanimously. And um, I certainly can say that based upon those that we are present on the call, that we have unanimously voted in support of resolving the lawsuit as indicated in the motion offered by Governor Edwards and then second by Governor Tripp. Um, I have to say that after many months of discussion um, with our legislators, I, I'm, I'm just really pleased that we have reached a point where we can put this lawsuit behind us based upon this motion. And, um, you know, it's certainly my intent to move forward with um, – closing out the meeting pretty much based upon that motion. I don't know if there are any other items that we need to address on the agenda. And um, before I made any closing comments, I wanted to check with you, Chancellor, to see if there are any comments that you need to make. Well, just to thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, it's been said before, um, it's so many of the people who've been involved in this that are behind the scenes who've done a really remarkable work. And we've talked about uh, Vicki. We've talked about Janet. Um, and I also wanted to commend uh, the members of the House and Senate leadership who've been involved in these discussions and, of course, uh, the members of their staff who have put in, as I mentioned uh, earlier today, incredible numbers of hours over the past four or five months getting us to this point. I agree with all that's been said. There is, I really believe, uh, a new spirit of trust and confidence uh, moving forward uh, upon which I think we can build the future of not only the state university system, but I think uh, the state of Florida in that regard. So thank you to everyone, and Madam Chair, thank you for your leadership uh, uh, over the time that you've been chair. Um, I, I really appreciate working with you on this issue. Uh, thank you very much, Chancellor Broga. I know that um, it's very likely that we will um, have some type of a... Um, a press release or our meeting, hopefully, you know, with the member, uh, with the leadership of the House and Senate, 
I'd ask that once we um, iron out those types of details that we sure and extend a, an, an invite to uh, the members of the board who are available to join us as we come together to resolve this. Um, I think that you said something that um, certainly is true, that it is um, wonderful that we're able to come together this time and make this decision, but certainly the commitment of our previous uh, board and our previous uh, chairpersons, both uh, Roberts and uh, McDevitt, that you know, through their hard work with us, we appreciate their time and commitment and just find it fortunate that it's at this time that we're able to actually resolve the issue. You know, I, I started earlier by saying that after many months of discussion with our legislative leaders, I'm just pleased that we've reached a point where we can put the lawsuit behind us. You know, I, too, want to thank Senate President Jeff Atwater and House Speaker Larry Credo for their thoughtful work with the Board of Governors and with Chancellor Frank T. Brogan. Our agreement, which we hope to announce soon, paves the way for a comprehensive understanding of the roles of the legislature, the executive branch, and the Board of Governors in moving the state university system forward. I also want to thank, again, my colleagues on the board. Your due diligence on this important matter has been invaluable. We have reached a good agreement and the right decision, and I want to thank you sincerely for your support of this very important effort. This has been a tremendous effort over many months, and we would not have made this progress with the less dedicated work of the Board of Governors staff. I, too, want to thank our General Counsel, Vicki Shirley, um, for her most capable assistance. I can say that she's worked evenings and weekends and trying to make this happen. I also want to thank Janet Owen of the University of North Florida for her tireless efforts. And again, Janet has also worked on evenings or worked, worked evenings and over the weekend to try to help make this happen. Working with the Senate President and the House Speaker, our Chancellor Frank Bo Brogan built a template for clarification of these issues that I, um, that I think will create a working document and a tool for our progress and the key to our success for now and in the future. Uh, Chancellor Brogan has led the way in these talks and negotiations. His can-do attitude and spirit of optimism have set the tone for this agreement and for our new relationship with the legislature. Frank, you've only been on the job for a few short months, and you've already left a legacy that we all can be proud of. Um, with that, unless there are any other comments, I'll entertain a motion to close out our public session. Norman Strip, so moved. Back up. Second. Thanks, Thanks. Great. Um, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 With that, I consider our public session um, closed, and thank you again for your support, and look out for the notice regarding any type of public announcement that we may have of the settlement. Thank you very much. Thank you.